Android issues, the update. Okay, so in my last video I posted last week or the week before, um, I explained that I bought a new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and um, I was having issues um, with the navigation, um, not the navigation, but the GPS um, on both the Uber app and the Viavan app. Um, with the Uber app, um, the navigation worked quite well. Um, I use a third party navigation, but the, the in-app navigation works quite well as well. And um, the only issue was uh, when I was ending the trip, um, the GPS still had me in a location that I'd probably passed like 10 minutes ago. So inevitably I was getting paid less for my fares and then I would have to write an email um, to um, Uber support or to Viavan. In fact, Viavan paid me the correct fare actually. I think it was a fixed fare I had or something like that. I'm not even sure if it was flex. Um, but um, yeah, I was losing money. I had to, I had to write to support and um, obtain um, um, reimbursement for the, for the full trip, which was um, uh, time consuming. Yeah, and obviously costly because the time I'm writing an email, I could have been driving. Okay, so um, I posted the video, as I said, a couple of weeks ago. And it seems like I'm not the only person with a problem. Now, I've got loads of suggestions. Um, some of the suggestions were close down the Uber app and then open it up again. I did that, however, um, it still had me in the same location and um, that didn't work. Um, what, I, I, what I was resorting to was turning the phone off and restarting the phone at the end of the journey. So I'd have to wait like 30 seconds for the phone to reboot, open the Uber app, and um, end the trip and then it will end it in the right place I get paid the right amount of money um, but obviously if it's busy and you've got job after job after job and you're having to turn the phone off and on all the time it does cause quite a bit of a, um, an annoyance to say the least so I've got a comment which is I'm gonna put it here yeah this is the comment so shout out to F ham or F H A M not sure the pronunciation of the name anyway he said that it's not the phone, it's um, it's a different app that's affecting um, the way that Uber and Viavan are working. Um, as he states, it's the My Whip app. So a bit skeptical anyway, but I said, okay, I'm gonna try it. Cause um, um, going back historically, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I downloaded the My Whip app and I updated the Uber app, yeah? so. I was under the impression that it was the Uber update what was causing the problem. However, the same issue was occurring on the Viavan app as well, yeah, on my Android phone. Um, but um, this um, subscriber, he informed me correctly, because it worked for me, that it was the MyWhip app which is causing the problems with Viavan and Uber, yeah, and suggested that I uninstall the app and see if anything. Um, goes back to normal. So I was on the road at the time, so I uninstalled the app. Yeah, and um, it worked. Uber went back to normal, Viavan went back to normal. Um, I wasn't having to restart the phone after every journey and it just got hassle free again. Yeah, so thanks again for the comment. Um, probably saving me time as well as money, and it's always a good thing. So I'm um, Again, sharing the information. So if you have an Android phone and you are having issues with your Android phone and you have MyWhip installed on your app, that might be the issue. Yeah, try uninstalling MyWhip and see if the issue resolves itself. Um, if you uninstall MyWhip and it's not that issue, then it's your phone. <laughs> yeah, but for, on, on this occasion, for me, it was the MyWhip app. Now, does that have larger implications? Um, for using MyWhip and Uber and Vivan on an Android phone. I know this issue is not present on iPhones. Yeah, so if you have an Android phone and you're having a company having an issue, uninstall the MyWhip app and see if it makes a difference. Um, leave your comments below and let me know how you got on if the issue does present itself with on your Android phone. Um, and if it is the MyWhip app, yeah, 
what's that going to mean for the drivers that are using Android on their phone? Are they going to have to install my whip um, every time they want to go online and then uninstall it if they want to use Uber and Vivan? Or is this a problem that can be fixed? Or is there a more sinister plot by my whip? <laughs> you know? Um, with their software developers to affect, I don't know, have they infected um they got some software in there that's affecting the Uber and Viavan um, apps on the Android phone. Mm. Anyway, I don't want to tarnish my whip before they come into effect, but um, my whip tech team, if you're watching this video, um, I had an issue with the app when it was installed on my phone, driving with the other apps. Um, you probably don't care anyway, because you're going to want drivers to use your app and not, and not any other apps, because you're not making no money otherwise. But um, you may have a lesser uptake of people using your app if it's affecting Uber and Fivern because um, I don't think anybody solely works for one company anymore. Um, so if you want to attract the drivers, um, you need to make your app available on Android um, in a way that it does not affect um, other driving apps. Um, so yeah, take heed or don't take heed, I don't care. But if you're a driver and you're having this issue, um, uninstall the MyWhip app, see if it works, and it, see, if, see if it resolves the issue. Um, if it doesn't, obviously reinstall the MyWhip app. Um, my only concern is MyWhip's launching in January. Um, they've got some low commission that I want to take advantage of. Um, however, it may cause a problem if it doesn't allow me to use Viavan and Uber uh, on my phone when it's installed. So, more questions than answers, but if you've got an Android, you've got a problem, you know what I mean, try it out, see if it works, leave a comment below. And I'm the Gig Guy London, and uh, thanks again to F Ham uh, for your comment, which is here, and signing out. Peace.